Hello, Royal Watchers. It's your friendly neighborhood critic, back again with some scorching hot tea that's about to ignite the internet. Get ready, because we're about to dive deep into the chaotic world of ex-royals and Hollywood drama, hotter than your grandma's secret chili recipe. So, picture this. Meghan Markle, the once Hollywood star that turned royal, now finds herself in a situation she might not have fully anticipated. She had the prince, the title, and even a Netflix deal. But things have taken a turn, and not the way she probably expected. Now, I know what you're thinking. Didn't Meghan and Harry just wrap up a trip to Colombia? Hold on to your crowns, folks, because that royal tour was about as royal as a school play. It's like they're playing dress-up, but the rest of the world forgot to RSVP to their make-believe tea party. Let's talk about this Colombia trip for a moment. Megan's out there discussing how their daughter Lilibet is expressing herself more. But how exactly, Megan? By staying out of the public eye like her parents' reputation. At this point, Lilibet and Archie are more elusive than a rare mythical creature. But here's where things get interesting. While Megan's busy playing a leading role in Colombia, the real action is happening back in Hollywood. And who's at the center of it? None other than Kevin Costner. Yes, the man who starred in The Bodyguard is now being linked to our favorite ex-royals, and his reactions are smoother than a moonwalk on a buttered floor. Apparently, Kevin isn't exactly thrilled about cozying up to the Sussexes, and who can blame him? It's like he looked at Meghan and Harry and thought, I had my fair share of royals in The Bodyguard. Once was enough. Now let's break this down for a second. Meghan came to Hollywood with dreams of becoming the next Grace Kelly, but here's the kicker. Grace Kelly left Hollywood to become a princess. Megan, on the other hand, left being a princess to pursue. What exactly? A career as a professional complainer? The Duchess of Drama. And then there's poor Harry. He's gone from being a beloved prince to what looks like an Instagram husband, holding Megan's purse, possibly wondering if he can trade his royal titles for a guest appearance on The Crown. But here's the real twist. The Hollywood elite aren't exactly buying what Megan's selling. Why should they? In Tinseltown, you have to earn your place. You can't just show up at Tyra and expect everyone to bow down. This isn't Buckingham Palace after all. Let's be honest for a moment. Meghan's acting career wasn't exactly setting Hollywood on fire before she met Harry. She was on Suits, sure, but let's face it. That show was about as well-known as a local talent show before Meghan became a royal. And now? Now she's trying to rebrand herself as some sort of humanitarian powerhouse. But in Hollywood, actions speak louder than words. And so far, all we've heard from the Sussexes are words, lots of words with very little action to back them up. It's like they're stuck in some bizarre limbo. Too royal for Hollywood, too Hollywood for the royals. They're like the awkward middle schoolers of the celebrity world, trying to fit in but not quite hitting the mark. And let's discuss their PR strategy for a moment. It's like they're playing a game of chess, but everyone else is playing Monopoly. They're making moves thinking they're being strategic, but the rest of the world is wondering why they haven't passed Go and collected their $200 yet. Now I can already hear some of you saying that they're just trying to make a difference. Sure, making a difference is admirable, but there's a right way and a wrong way to do it. And swooping into Colombia for a royal tour that nobody asked for, that's definitely not the right way. It's like they're trying to establish their own royal family in exile. But here's the thing. You can't just declare yourself royalty and expect everyone to play along. That's not how it works, no matter how much you might want it to. And let's not forget the financial aspect, because at the end of the day, isn't that what it's all about? Megan entered this thinking she hit the jackpot with Harry. But now, now it seems more like she bought a luxury ticket and is desperately trying to convince everyone she won. Word on the street is that Harry's inheritance from Princess Diana is dwindling. And now they're scrambling, trying to make those Netflix deals and Spotify podcasts work. But here's the problem. People aren't exactly lining up to listen to two privileged individuals complain about their lives. Shocking, right? And let's not even get started on the family drama. Megan's burning bridges faster than a wildfire. Her own family, cast aside. The royal family, tossed out like yesterday's news. It's like she's playing a game of how to lose friends and alienate people. And she's winning by a landslide. But here's the real tea. This isn't just about Meghan and Harry anymore. It's about the entire concept of celebrity and what it means in today's world. These two thought they could have the perks of royalty without the responsibility, the fame without the scrutiny. But that's not how it works in the real world, folks. In the real world, you have to earn your place. You can't just show up with a fancy title and expect everyone to roll out the red carpet, especially not in Hollywood, where everyone has a fancy title of some sort. And let's talk about their future for a moment. Because right now, it's looking about as bright as a blackout. They've burned their bridges with the royals. 
they're not exactly winning any popularity contests in the UK. And now, with Hollywood heavyweights like Kevin Costner giving them the cold shoulder, it's like watching a slow-motion car crash, except the car is a luxury vehicle, and it's crashing into a pile of failed Netflix pitches. So, what's next for our favorite Royal Rebels? If I were a betting person, and let's face it, who isn't these days, I'd say we're in for more drama than a soap opera marathon. Will Megan finally realize that her Hollywood dreams are as realistic as me becoming the next James Bond? Will Harry wake up and smell the California coffee, or will they surprise us all and actually do something meaningful with their platform? Only time will tell, but one thing's for sure, this royal saga is far from over. It's like a never-ending drama except the plot twists keep getting more absurd. So there you have it folks, the latest scoop on Meghan and Harry's Hollywood hustle and royal rumble. Will they make a comeback, will they fade into obscurity, or will they end up on the next season of Dancing with the Stars? Now, that's a show I'd tune in for. Remember, if there's one lesson we can take away from all this, it's that you can take someone out of Hollywood, but you can't take the Hollywood out of them. And sometimes, when you try to rewrite the script of your life, you end up with a box office flop. This is your friendly neighborhood critic signing off. Remember to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. And hey, if you're thinking about marrying into royalty for fame and fortune, maybe think twice, okay? Unless you've got a solid backup plan that doesn't involve titles or staying relevant. Until next time, keep it real, folks.